Hey guys, this is Zach from My Freedom Smokes. Uh, here today to talk to you about the Bellis tank by UD. Now this tank is one of the best rebuildable tanks that I've ever personally used. Uh, it has a pretty cool top fill design, which is, this is the first rebuildable tank that I've ever used that has a top fill design, which I can see that the Triton kind of started the top fill uh, coming back into play and more people are jumping on that train, which I like personally because I like the top fill. I don't like having to take my tank off, turn it upside down, unscrew the bottom, fill it up, and then go about my day. Um, and this tank is advertised as a 100% no leak tank, and I haven't had any problems with it leaking personally. Um, this thing is pretty sealed off. Bellis tank by UD, we're gonna go ahead and open for you so we can go through everything that it comes with. This is the tank itself. So as you can see, this is the tank all put together. This thing pretty much comes completely apart. This is the airflow on both sides, 16 holes. And this is it without the airflow control. So you can go ahead and get a pretty good look at how wide this airflow really is on both sides. Go ahead and unscrew the top. And it is a top fill, like I said, so that's the inside. You fill it in on either side. They seal for the top. And the drip tip does come off as well. It is 510 adapted, so you can pretty much put any 510 drip tip you want on here if you don't like the one that it comes with. Take the chimney and the top out. And it does come with a replacement glass for it. It is Pyrex. There's one right here. And it also does come with Japanese cotton. It's actually pretty wide. They got the thing pretty. I didn't personally, I didn't use the Japanese cotton that it comes with, but it's there for you if you need it. This is the tank itself without everything on it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the deck. This thing is a bit difficult to get off. Just pops right off. So this is the deck itself. Like I said, it could be a little intimidating at first, but don't let that make this tank not something that you should try out because it is a great tank. I'll go ahead and show you everything else that it comes with because they set you up for a while with this tank. Everything that you could possibly need for it is in it. And it has extras. Okay, so it comes with an extra seal for the top in case you lose that one because the 100% no leak design, I feel like Especially with it being top fill relies solely on this. Without that, I feel like it's just going to leak out the top, come out of your drip tip, and it's, that's just no good. Two extra red O-rings for the inside of the tank. Three extra black O-rings. Some silicone adapters, and then it also comes with an extra O-ring for your drip tip. Uh, here is the silicone adapter for if you want single flow air, if you want single coil airflow, and also just the single flow design. I go ahead and show you that here in a second. Here is the two 26 gauge K1 pre-built coils that it comes with. I like I said, I didn't mess around with those, but I'm sure that they're fine. They look good. They look like pretty good built coils. And then I'll go ahead and show you how the single coil adapter works. You pop this white piece off. And you got your deck right here. Go ahead and just plug that off. Okay, so now that you got that nice and sealed off, you can go ahead and build your single coil right there. Uh, cut off one side and go about your day with your single coil. Another cool thing about this tank is the vapor it produces is pretty wild. It has 16 holes on each side, so a total of 32 airflow. It is a 5 mil capacity tank. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. It's made out of 304 stainless steel. Uh, and the deck is a two post design. I don't know if anyone out there has ever messed with that, uh, but it may be a little intimidating at first, but don't let that ruin this tank for you because once you get used to it, it's a breeze and this tank is really worth it. Uh, the tank size itself is 22 by 19 by 20 millimeters um, and that's the inside of the tank. 
The height of this thing is two and a half inches. That's with the drip tip. Um, this is rebuildable using mesh, silicone wick, or cotton. I prefer cotton. Uh, the build that I have in here right now, I haven't messed around with the pre-built coils that comes with it. I prefer a lower gauge um, canthal, so I have 24 gauge K1 canthal in here, dual coil, uh, six wraps. And that's where I found the best flavor and the best cloud, best cloud production coming out of this thing. You can sit there and hit this thing continuously for days. I got it running at about 40 watts right now. Um, that's the sweet spot I found for it. But that's the cool thing about this thing is that if you're putting it on a regulated device, you're able to adjust it to the way that you like to vape. And especially with the 16 air holes on each side, that gives you a lot of room to mess around with how tight or how loose you want your draw. Um, so. Altogether, this tank is amazing. My final thought on this tank is that I definitely recommend it to anyone that likes rebuildable tanks. Uh, people that don't necessarily like dripping but still like massive cloud production, this is definitely the tank for you. Um, I mean, the airflow, I can't stress enough how crazy the airflow is on this thing, wide open or even with a tight draw. My final thought on it, that it's, it's a great tank, something that I definitely recommend to people that want the dripper flavor and the dripper cloud but without the dripping. Once again, I'm Zach from My Freedom Smokes. Uh, thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, it's the Bellis Tank by UD, and I'll see you next time.